Irmãos, a paz do Senhor. Nós vamos nessa noite. Isso do Lord Rev. Confira uma revelação do Senhor. Falarmos sobre. Tonight. Sobre um assunto que. Fulfilling an instruction from the Lord. We're going to deliver a message about a subject that is very known to all of us, which is gratitude. Many times, the servant easily pray, asking, interceding, and insisting with God so the door can be opened. So the healing can be delivered. So God can bless financial life, secular, professional life, and so on. It's easy to ask, to pray, ask Him. We have a tendency to ask God to change everything in our lives for good. There is a good point that we cannot forget, which is that the Lord the blessings that we already reached out today even if we are in this country living a new opportunity some recently others for very long and some already found a professional freedom if some has reached out, uh, some, some dreams came true, we did reach out, why? Is there anything good on us, our endeavor? No. E even if you are, but this is under God's blessing. It doesn't matter if we fight, if we don't have the blessing of the Lord upon our life, if we don't have the approval and the okay from God, and sometimes we have a tendency to forget, and this is sufficient to keep remembering that we have received, and whatever we have received is by God's grace. If we, if we reach out until now, because God has given us health, and He has blessed us today, and He has promised us for tomorrow. So everything is a good reason for us to put our gratitude before the Lord, especially in tonight's service. We're going to have some words of praises, thankfulness prayers, because God is everything for us. We have all the place, all the God, besides the Lord God. I invite you all to open your Bible in the book of Joshua, 17, verse 17 and 18. Joshua 17, verse 17. Joshua 17, verse 17 and 18. And the author of the fall. You're going to see the projection. So Joshua, chapter 17, and verse 17 says, But Joshua said to the house of Joseph, to Ephraim and Manasseh, You are numerous and very powerful. You have not only one allotment. But the four hill country as well. Clearly, and its forest limit will be yours. Though the Canaanites have iron chariots, and though they are strong, you can drive them out. Brethren, the Lord 
He already has us as a great people. We are a great people. Why we can say that? Why the Church of God is considered? Why we can say that? We are great people. But the number of people, the number of members, uh, Church A, B, or C, they have several properties. Is this what makes the church bigger, greater? No. We are greater. As for we have a God which is great. He is the Lord of Lords. The doctor of doctors. This makes us to be even bigger. To be uh, different from the people in the world. We believe in a God that is strong, powerful, and He is in control of our lives. The church is big not only in number, but it's great as we have a God that is at our disposal to operate in our favor. Great and strong. Where is our strength? What makes us to be stronger? Because our, uh, the way that our body is built, because we live in America now, because our, our strength comes from the Lord. He is our judge. He is our justice. Our spiritual weapons he on mute? I cannot mute. I think it's my computer. Our strength is in the Lord. So we don't need to go out and shout out to demonstrate that. But the Lord is the one that fight our battles. The Lord Jesus, when he resurrected, he didn't go to the government, government to expose himself. No, he didn't do anything like that. He went away. Wherever the media was, where the, the, the people of the Lord was getting together. The Lord doesn't need exposure. Any, any human effort to convince man to understand salvation and to accept Jesus as Savior. But we accepted it because we understand the miracle that he operated in our lives. One day we accepted Jesus as for one day he revealed himself as a Savior, as the only Savior. And that's why we are so grateful to him. That's why we feel that strength. Our strength doesn't come from mankind. Like the text says, you're not going to have only one allotment. Jesus is the one that is interceding close to the Father. He is our, our interceder or our lawyer one time. But he is the one anytime, every day. He is the one that advocates our causes. And that's why the text says we not having only one allotment. How many times? You can go as more as you need. If you go to him, you're going to see the results of the, the way that you seek for the Lord. Every time you pray to him, to the Father, in the name of Jesus, you're going to see 
that he put himself by the right side of the Father and he stands and he proceeds to us. This is what Jesus does for the man. That's why I say again, we have way more to thank to the Lord than to ask. Even the word of God advises, advises to, to seek for the Lord and pray, but we have more reason to thank God. And our need is not happening one time only, but the Lord will be always at our disposal. So the word of God says, why? For as for the Lord, it's a God that is very simple to understand and to please Him. The only thing He requests is uh, an open heart to turn our look to the Lord, our lives to the Lord. And we will see how the Lord can transform us and change our destiny, our faith, not only one time, but any time that we need. And that's why we can we can have five people glorifying the, the name of the Lord for everything that the Lord has given us. If you want to make a personal call, that's okay. If you want to thank the Lord for what He has done for the church, for the life that is being preserved, so many to live We could be like hours praying, but we can make like objective prayers. Open your mic and glorify the name of the Lord for what He is testifying in your, in your heart. Do not be embarrassed. Maybe you are not used to. Don't worry. Make it simple. Do by yourself. You're not in a public place. In your house. Feel like the freedom that the Lord has given you. So maybe today will be the beginning of a new phase in your life. And you're going to be okay to pray, even in the church when you come back. Let's exercise the gratitude to God. Let's express all the gratitude we have in our heart for everything that the Lord has done for us. The ones that desire can open and pray. Lord, we pray your name. We bless your name. Just for you have taken care, not only for the ones that are close to us, but the ones that are far, we glorify your name for this resource that you have given us and for everything you have done among us. We bless you even more for salvation that you have allowed us to, to have. We bless you. We honor you today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we make your name greater. As for your care is amazing among us. We bless you. As for you have given us opportunity to testify about your love to the ones that never heard. We bless you for the salvation that you have given us free, freely, for the joy in our hearts. You have been present among us for the church, for the daily bread, and we thank you for allowing us to be before you. We glorify you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we bless your name. You are the cause for us to not be destroyed. We thank you for your care, for this marvelous work of the Holy Spirit that you have inserted. We praise you for you are the greatest being that we can have. We thank you for the new way of life that you have provided to us. You have taken care of us, O Lord, families. We are so, so joyful in your presence. We do not want anything because you have provided for our lives. Especially in this moment we are living. We can't say that 
you have provided for us, you have been the provider. We, we praise you with great joy in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we praise you for your word revealed to us, for the church, for your support. You are always with us. You never forsake us. Thank you, Lord. We glorify you as for we have you that intercede for us, your Holy Spirit, every day of our lives. We are strong because we are we belong to you. We prevail because you have given us victories. You have sustained us with your great hands of grace and mercy. We own you, our lives, everything, our love, everything we have and we are comes from you. We praise you, we glorify you for everything. You have done so much for us, even though we don't deserve. Blessed be your name, today and forevermore. In the name of Jesus, amen. We praise you, living God, powerful God, the way that you have acted in our favors. We want to glorify you for the great things you have done among us. You being a, a present God and you have taken care of us marvelously and you have operated among our lives in a way that we can express. We lift a praise, a gratitude. You are living God. You have acted in our favors and we praise you for in a marvelous way you have chosen us you have called us that's why we are here now rendering gratitude and praises you are the one that deserves all glory and praises we praise you for you your presence among us and for everything that you have done and things that you will do for us in the name of Jesus, amen. Lord God, we bless your name and glorify you for the church that you have lived up. And this church has encountered in you a faithful God, a blessed God, a merciful God. And that's why our church is established upon the earth. And we have in our hearts a gratitude of praises for your name. Our strength certainly is from the Lord. We have experienced your power in our lives. In our lives. You have defended our lives. You have gone in front of us, ahead of us. We have many, many reasons to glorify and especially in above everything salvation in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we want to adore you, your name, for the ministry that you have established, that you have sustained, especially here in Portland, for this door that you opened, for the gratitude and praise for your name. We know, Lord, that due to set prayers and tears that this door was opened, for this ministry, for the way that you have called the pastors, we are grateful that you have honored your servants. You have sustained with your power, with your grace, with your mercy. We are grateful to your name, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we adore you. We thank you. Because only in you we have this peace. We want to praise you for our families. We want to thank you for our work, our jobs, for this fellowship with one another, for this moment of security in your presence. In you we can express our gratitude for this delicate moment we are living, 
but you have made us strong and courageous, and you have bring peace to our household. Jesus Christ, we love you and we thank you. We adore you. In the name of Jesus, amen. Beloved Father, we adore your name, we bless you, as for you are our pastor, our shepherd, you are our redeemer, our savior, you are the one that go ahead of us, opening doors, you are the one that when we stand, you bring joy to our hearts, Lord, you are the one that when we are hungry and thirsty, you provide food and water. You are everything our lives to You are our joy, our peace. You are everything we need, Lord. Everything we want. You are our God. You are the rock, our greater Lord. We bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord God, we exalt your name. We bless you. If we are here, if you will reach out into here, it's because your hands are upon us. We bless you for the sustain that you have provided, for the renewal, for the fellowship, restored, for the privilege that we, can, we have to surrender our lives, trust in you. We bless you for everything. In the name of Jesus, amen. I read the text in the verse 18 says, the fourth hill country as well, clear, and as far as limits will be yours. Though the Canaanites have iron chairs and though they are strong, you can drive them off. Brethren, the promises of the Lord has to us, promises of blessing. We don't want to be in the valley, but we want to be in the, at the mount, by the mountain. Because when you go up to the mountain, that means we approach to our Savior. The higher as we go, the closer we'll be to our Lord. And that's why our God don't request anything complex too much. Everything we have comes from Him. So that's why tonight the Lord is blessing us during the service, delivering us. He, he wants to transform us. He wants to give us a new understanding and an understanding of gratitude. We are a great people of the Lord. We we have strength that comes from the Lord. And we don't have one a lot in value. As more as we are living difficult moments, struggles, days, sometimes we don't see the mountain, we see only the forest and the valley where the trees which symbolize man. Sometimes we are looking only to the difficulties, but tonight the Lord is giving us the understanding to walk to leave the, the comfort zone and to start going up to the mountain. We're going to have a lot of work. We have to cut the trees. We have to clear. We have to do our side of it. Eliminate from your life whatever is causing you problems. Many, many trees, right? Praise the Lord and ask the Lord what is causing me not to be a grateful heart. What is it teaching me to see the greatest blessing you know, in my life? Sometimes we don't show gratitude because we're looking at the wrong side. And we're looking at the struggles only. And we forget to look forward. As Joshua said, the mountain is yours. You have reached out to salvation in God. You have accepted Jesus as a Savior. So you are a new creator, a new creation. You have, you are chosen, you are called 
to live the victory in Jesus. Maybe some, maybe today you are looking at the source, and behind this, these trees, which is which are the man, uh, you, this, the enemy of our souls will be there. They talk about the Canaanite and the with iron chariot, but the mouth is ours. The Lord has promised. The victory is ours. The Lord has promised, and that's how. John in the Patmos Island mentioned. So tonight the Lord want to make sure you understand that. The Lord is above everything. Amen? Let's listen to a song. Let's pray close to the service, whoever can stand. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Lord, at this time, we bless your name. Truly, it is pleasing to be in your presence. We bless you as until here, you have helped us. You have given us direction, guidance through the Holy Spirit, the provision you have provided for us. We bless you 
tem sido Deus que you are being a faithful guide. He got the promises and fulfilled the promises. We say we ask you that you can receive our service of gratitude, our praises, expression of redeemed soul, the joy we have for our salvation. Receive our gratitude, our service in your hands and take us, Lord, to have even more experiences through dreams, tomorrow during our days, give us good encounters with the Holy Spirit so we can testify a great love so you, we can find the ones that are needed, people that need to listen to your voice so we can be used to spread salvation. Reveal us, O oh Lord, what we have to say to them so we can testify about your great power. Let's all pray in the name of Jesus. In your name we say, in the grace, the marvelous grace of our Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, the sweet and tender consolations of the Holy Spirit can be poured out upon all of us, now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. We got the finish at the end of our service. Before we start to interact, we are going to pray for our sister Clarinha, the daughter of Filippi and Renata. She is making seven years old. She's completing one more birthday. And it's a great joy for the church, for ourselves. So Mark will be praying for Clara, and right after, we can open the mic, and then we'll be dismissed with the grace of the peace of the Lord. If someone desires assistance, you can contact the deacon, so we can pray for you immediately. Peace of the Lord to everyone. Amen. Peace of the Lord, my brethren. Clarinha. Clarinha. Abre o microfone, Clarinha. Open up your microphone, Clarinha. Tudo bem? Is everything all right with Estamos you? Alegres. We are happy Vamos orar? with your birthday. Let us pray. Você fica como você desejar, tá bom? You can be however you prefer. Let's be in the name of the Lord. Nosso Deus e Pai querido, oh God, beloved Father, o teu nome. we praise your name. Servazinha for your small servant that is having another birthday in your presence. We praise you for her health, for her intelligence. We praise you, Lord, because she already knows the path that will lead to salvation. We praise you for her family, her father and mother, her brother, also her uncles and aunts, her cousins. We now, with joy, we lay our hands upon her and ask, Lord, bless the life of Clarinha, and especially on this birthday, visiting her with the joy of salvation, bringing to her a peace and a comfort that comes from your part, Lord, and that she may rejoice together with her family and together with the church on the services online. She may realize and notice the care of the Lord upon her life. Lord, receive the gratitude of the parents and of the church at this moment. We rejoice with them in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen, Clarinha. Amen, Clarinha. Parabéns, Clarinha. Happy, Happy birthday. Bir Congratulations, Clarinha. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Clarinha. Keep the cake on the side so when the church reopens, we're going to eat the cake. Freeze the cake. Congratulations, Clarinha. Frozen cake is even better. Congratulations, Clarinha. Peace of the Lord, beloved. It's a pleasure to see you. Peace of the Lord Jesus. If anyone here for the first time, you're welcome. 